Well, if you walk around UNLV, you'll likely notice a brand new building on campus after 10 years. A $73 million engineering facility will soon be open. There it is. 8 News Now reporter Brian Will has an exclusive tour. Engineering students are buzzing with excitement, like PhD student Martin Argelis Perez, who can now fly drones in a new arena right outside the new building. It looks so clean. Yeah, it's amazing. This maker space is absolutely amazing. Computer science grad Brianna Geller will be moving her lab to the new premises. They'll be here within arm's reach, basically, and I can have them help me whenever I need it. Dean Rama Venkat tells me that the number of students going into engineering at UNLV has doubled in size in the last 13 years, which is why they need another building next to their current one. This is like 6,000 square feet of space. Basically, the idea is nowadays we don't build small, small siloed labs. We build labs which are open. This is one of the many unique features here in this new building on the UNLV campus that allows students in that room to see what's happening behind them or shade it so they're not distracted. Finally, the building is here. We are excited. The students are excited. Faculty are moving in. By summer, we are in business. The three-story structure is 52,000 square feet. The first floor is all undergraduate creative design space, while the second and third floors are wet and dry labs with state-of-the-art classrooms, conference rooms, and about 25 faculty offices. A favorite spot among students already is the maker space, which allows them to bring their ideas to life, and a flexatorium, a lecture hall by day, and event space by night. But they are growing so fast, they may need more space soon. It's, it's taken 10 years. We can probably grow for another five, six years. Maybe 10 is going to be pushing it. <laughs> so we will need another building. So that's where I'm going with it. <laughs> Grand opening is going to be taking place at the end of February. Classes begin there in the fall. Now, the building doesn't have an official name yet, but the cost for a specific name to have those naming rights would be $15 million.